Casa de Balboa sits at the heart of San Diego's premier park, right next to the Ruben Fleet Science Center. The building is surrounded by lush vegetation, but the plants that grace the grounds of this civic centerpiece are thirsty. With water scarce and expensive, park officials are looking for options. Jim Hughes works with the Friends of Balboa Park, and he's standing on top of Casa de Balboa's expansive flat roof. He says there's a chance that this structure could help the city claim a significant and regular flow of water. They calculated that between this building and the adjacent building, we may be able to capture 90,000 gallons of water per month, averaged over the year. The mostly flat roof has a wall around the top. Water would build up here if it couldn't find a way to get off the roof, so architects installed drains. When it rains, water rushes to the low spots, pours into the drains, and flows to the city's sewage system. We're trying to capture that water. Instead of it going down a, a city drain pipe into the wastewater system, we want to use it for irrigation in an adjacent garden area. But when a region's average annual rainfall is around 10 inches, even lower in the midst of this prolonged drought, relying on the weather isn't a practical water solution. That's why Hugh says they're also taking advantage of another source of water on the roofs. The air conditioning units that keep the buildings cool create a lot of condensation. And that moisture is already being captured. They come out and they flow down here. They collect, the water runs down by gravity, and eventually will end up in the uh, condensation drain line. And this is water that's going right into the city sewer system. Hughes says crews will install new pipes that divert the runoff and funnel it to a holding tank. That tank will be built on the side of the Casa de Balboa building. Once the system is in place, the captured water will feed the landscaping in a pocket garden that's right next door. This project hits home for San Diego State University environmental services professor Matt Ron. His students are currently mapping the park's water infrastructure. As we uh, start looking into the future, we're going to have to identify areas for uh, water conservation and efficiency strategies um, and to be able to manage the park in uh, you know, uh, increasingly uh, sustainable way. SDSU students hope to eventually quantify just how much water is consumed in the park. He says that'll open the door to more projects that can save water. We have, you know, aging infrastructure and uh, increased demand on water resources throughout Southern California and indeed throughout most of the Western United States. Um, and so this is an opportunity to have the city and Balboa Park serve as a model for the rest of our community on how to manage its uh, water infrastructure and increase efficiencies over time. This project is limited to one small slice of the park and it's largely benefiting the Zorro Garden but the San Diego Women's Foundation is hoping the project has more reach. The foundation's Marjorie O'Malley says her organization approved a $40,000 donation because there's a public education component. Because it's Balboa Park and our centennial, there'll be a lot of people coming through the park this year. And it will be terrific to have them see and have uh, the rest of the country, not just Californians who come here, not just native San Diegans, see that we really do care and we're looking at different ways to conserve water. Friends of the park officials say if this demonstration project works, they'll look to expand the effort to capture and use water that would otherwise be flushed away. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.